So all this a bull there showing how it's done. And really that kayaking background came through when it needed to, especially in that inshore gutter, just to push over that double up. And now, next up, the big boys come out to play, Josh, here. The Dakin Air Conditioning Open Men's Ski Final. Yeah, and it's a, it's a smaller field than we're used to, but it's such high quality at the moment. We go down the list, Bruce Taylor, Nick Crilly, we saw them in the last round on their home beach. Our Summer of Surf Ski Race leader there, Cam Cole. We go over the page there, Michael Rawson from Northcliffe. Scott Smith, younger brother of uh, Olympic gold medalist Dave Smith, and Corey Taylor, one of the stars of the Summer of Surf. We've covered this year he'll be right in the mix but it's such a tight field I, I can imagine seeing six seven eight guys going around those cans all at the one time oh, I love to see the start of a ski race some great shots here from both on the water and in the drone and away they go and just get those arms pumping and that paddle in the water and bang bang a couple over the top and they'll make mincemeat of these waves here the boys are straight through them and out into that deeper water it looks like the north cliff cap of, of nick gale there on the green and white ski look at his rating compared to the rest of the field he's going out he's got those legs pumping he's breathing heavy look at how fast that paddle's going over here and he's got a two length ski already and he's out to the back of the break in clean water he's going to set himself settle down we'll see the rating drop a little bit as these boys just chase. Yeah, on board here with Jet Kenny as well, but you just saw the rating of Gale. It was like a wind-up toy, and they just let him go at the start, and look at him still going, and now the rating's starting to come down a little bit. So this is where you've got to be careful. You don't want to burn all your cookies at once. Now nah, it looks like he's gone out pretty hard. He'll go back to technique, efficiency. That's Nick Crilly sitting there on the red and white ski just off his wash. While Nick may not have gone out as quick, he's worked his way back on, and he probably has a little bit more left in the tank. As we go back, it's probably Scotty Smith there from the Warilla Barrick Point Club on the white ski in third place. So he's close enough, if good enough as well. And Nick Crilly, the class comes to the top. He's got more experience than most of these guys. Former world and Australian champion. He snuck on the inside there, used all the experience he's got over the younger competitor there, Nick Gale. And that'll make all the difference around the cans. Yeah, Jack Kenny on board here in fourth spot. Little bit of biffo going around those cans. But, oh, look at this. The veteran has really started to rev it up. Look at that technique now. Long and strong. And Gale, he's starting to lose it on the technical side, isn't he? And that's what's cost him. Yeah, that's where, where Nick's probably used all his cookies at, at the at the start of the race. Crilly's starting to really wind up at this point when it really counts. So he's put in that two or three big strokes right now as he tries to push down this one. He's put in two ski lengths on the rest of the field. He's on top of a runner and while Nick's struggling there, he's blowing hard, really, really breathing hard. Nick Crilly's paddling away from the field. So one Nick hurting and another Nick with success down the front of this wave. And here we go, Nick Crilly Gee, he was unlucky last time at North Burley, but not this time. He's not going to be denied on his home beach. A little story comes down, and he has blitzed this field. And Josh, just a perfect example of how to build into a race and finish it off strong. Oh, that's it. The, the start's all important, as we see Nick Gales down one in the second place. But if you don't have anything at the end, it really doesn't matter. And it's been a long time between drinks for Nick Crilly. He's had a few years out of the sport, but he's back, and it looks like he's better than ever. He's really shown this inexperienced field how it's done and experience counts for everything in surf life saving. Yeah, great shots from up top there. And here we go as the veteran just cruises up. He'll love this nice, comfortable finish to take the win here in this Dakin Air Conditioning Men's Ski Race. It looks like Nick Gale's going to hang on for second spot. Big battle for third. Oh, Cam Cole is going to take it home there. Just ahead of the Kiwi from Northcliffe, Corey Taylor. Too big, too strong, Nick Crilly. The veteran shows the young guns how it's done here on his home beach for the North Burley Club. A dominant victory here in the Dakin Air Conditioning Open Male Ski Race Final. One of the young guns on his heels, though, Nicholas Gale for the BMD Northcliffe Club has to settle for second. And rounding out the top three, Cam Cole of Malulaba. Always consistent up there as well, Brissy Taylor of the North Burley Club. And down to Scott Smith of Warilla Barrack Point. Dakin Air Conditioning Ski Race winner here, Nick Crilly. Mate, you've had a couple of years away from the sport, but you look like you're back better than ever. Yeah, mate, got a bit of hunger for it. I've been away for five years and got a good group of guys training at North Burley at the moment, so it makes it a bit easier to turn up in the mornings and train. You're so explosive off that start. How important is that in ski racing? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. Getting off the beach, getting clean water, picking and choosing your alley out and then having first choice of the runners coming home. It's imperative to get home first. I was going to say that, that runner around the can made all the difference. Yeah, that's it. I knew a bit of local knowledge, and you know that you can chase the bumps, but they kind of die out a bit just before the back bank. But you get a good run coming around that can, you're nearly home. Nick Crilly, winner of the ski race on his home beach here. Congratulations. Thanks, Josh.